I actually woke up in a really good mood today. Like in a really, mm, no. I woke up in a very grumpy mood because uh, I had to wake up at like 5 a.m. on a Saturday because my dog, because we're still on the potty training train, but we're not getting off at any stops anytime soon. It's been such a struggle, guys. I got the bells. We do the treats. We, we do the an hour, every hour, take him out. Honestly, he's so stubborn. Honestly, it's because he's a Capricorn, but he's like a December Capricorn. So he's like one of those people. Some days I unadopt him. I really do. I have to. Us fur baby moms will get it, okay? Some days you, you gotta let them fend for themselves. You're like, I'm not your mom right now, fam. Mommy's going through some stuff with you. I'm saying all of this because I'm kind of in a good mood and you guys have been begging me <gasps> for a god tutorial so i'm here to give you guys one because i'm actually going to get ready for the day right now and i'm going to do my makeup for like a hot day and i'm going to show you guys how i would do my makeup for a hot day and for it to not melt off my face and i'm going to make it drugstore because i'm only going to be using drugstore products now am i going to be using only drugstore brushes no no that's asking for too much putting my foot down i'm going to use all the brushes that i would normally use and that is that. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Uh, Puff Puff Primer and my Nivea Men's Post Sensitive Shave Balm to primerize my face. If you guys can see my brow strap and it bothers you, keep the damn comments to yourself too, baby girl, okay? Cause I'm just not in the mood to be doing this little number all day long. We're gonna go ahead and set our primer. I've already talked about and discussed how we do this. We set the primer and that kind of gives us like another layer of protection against the oils, the sweat, and basically just the moisture in general. We're gonna grab our little velour puff and a mattifying powder. I'm just gonna use this one from Dollface Beauty, which she is a little bit mattifying, but not too much because I don't wanna be too overly matte because this is a summer look. We still wanna look fresh face and glowy and like we just walked out of our manhattan apartment and like we're going to go get our 18 dollar green juice or our, our 17 dollar latte and then we're gonna go to like pilates yoga just like fresh face is all i'm saying again if you have dry skin don't even attempt this now i'm gonna go ahead and use my fix it up matte setting spray from koki just let your face set at this point baby girl okay let it set let it all kind of melt together let it get a little dry and the wee bit tacky and then we're gonna go in with our foundation para la fundacion we're gonna go ahead and use our wet and wild photo focus foundation i use the shade oh this is not the one i'm gonna be using today this is the original photo focus not the dewy one you guys whilst i do like the dewy one um this is the summertime right now and my skin already be like doing the most when it comes to dewy we're gonna be using the original because it's a little bit more matte and natural on my skin type. So we're gonna be doing this. And I use this shade Cream Beige. She's probably heel expired. <laughs> it's fine though. And I know this is like so extra. This is like the most extra, extra could possibly get. Pero like, these are the steps that make a good makeup day a great makeup day, okay? This one just hop, skips, and jumps right over basic to like, wow, this makeup is gonna wear, it's gonna look so good, it's gonna look so flawless, is you're gonna paint the thin layers of foundation on. And again, I only really do this in the summertime when it starts getting hot. I paint thin layers of foundation on. You guys can look at how I kind of avoid the areas where we're gonna apply concealer because you don't want thick layers of stuff anywhere, guys. You're working in these really intricate thin layers for a reason. It helps your skin actually maintain itself from breaking up and being all oily and greasy. So that's why we're gonna do this. This foundation is seriously so pretty. Every time I stop using it and then I use it again for like the first time, I'm like, bitch, like, why are we closer? We should hang out more. Now we're gonna let the foundation settle and set and be like its cute little foundation settle set self. And then we're gonna go in and do our brows. For our brows, I'm just gonna be using my Arches and Halos pencil. I'm not gonna be using the thin one, I'm gonna be using the thick little wedge one. And I'm just gonna be doing my brows. I'm showing you guys this because I want you guys to know we're keeping a drugstore here, okay? She's not trying to play any games or pull any wolves and there's no mirrors and there's no smokings, okay? Not aboard this spaceship. We will be back though, because I take forever to do my brows. Gives me some time to listen to T-Pain. Oh, 
So not my best brow day. Don't stare at them, yo. That's rude. Don't look at the thing I just pointed out. Get out of here, man. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes because I feel like I really just want to complete the eyes. The eyes are gonna be so simple, guys, because I feel like for summer makeup looks, we really do want to focus on the skin and the complexion and the glowiness and the... I know you guys were expecting for me to say hoeiness, but like that's something you guys do on your own and I completely support it. I'm just here to show you how to get that face right, baby girl. That's... But the eyes are gonna be super simple. We're just gonna grab our handy dandy bronzer and we're just gonna do a quick little eyeshadow moment on the eyes with the bronzer basically truly just gonna be throwing this color on and blending it out to define the crease y luego mis chulas you guys are gonna go in with one of these type of puppies find that these glitter eyeshadows you guys can find so many in the drugstore there's some from koki that are bomb and there's some from pixie that are bomb honestly maybelline has some every brand has some but i find that these stick the best on the eyelids i don't know they just they really make me think of summer whenever i see them so i'm gonna apply a couple of these i'm gonna do a little mix of rouge this is the koki crystal fusion liquid eyeshadow and this is in the shade Supernatural. And I'm going to mix it with the Pixie Liquid Fairy Lights in the shade Rose Gold. I just realized I kind of did my under eye and I haven't done my concealer yet. What the flip? I guess we should go ahead and do concealer. Mm, this is gonna be a fun process. We're gonna go ahead and use our Wet n Wild concealer. This video is not sponsored, please. I feel like I should say that right now because it might look sponsored here in like a minute, but it's not sponsored, I swear to you. This is the Wet n Wild concealer. If you have been watching me for a while, this is also gonna take you down memory lane because this concealer was that one. This was like my ride or die chick. If I did anything, if anybody hurt me, if anybody crossed me, if anybody looked at me the wrong way, if I got a job, if I got promoted, if I got fired, All right, I went ahead and just moved and skipped right along the yeah. concealer process because I gotta move fast with that one, guys, because you know who isn't invited to the party? Creases. We don't like that, we don't do that here. So I have to move really quick throughout that. But right now, guys, I'm telling you, this face doesn't really move. And if it does, I don't know what you guys are doing. I, I really don't. This is like a cute day in a barbecue type of makeup. Like it's not gonna melt off of your face. You can munch on the ribs, you can eat the tacos, you can has the beer and it's not gonna go anywhere. But if you guys are gonna be running a triathlon, I, I honestly, I, I don't I don't know. But we're gonna go ahead and bronze and contour. I'm going to be using this little disc from Went Wild. Again, this video is not sponsored, okay? Don't try me. I would have told you guys that already and you know this. I'm just gonna use this up a little bit because this does have a really pretty bronzy tone to it, but it's also very pigmented, one. Two, the tone is very pretty, so it's gonna give us a very nice, rich, bronzy look. And the reason we're going in with both of these bronzers is because while I love the Milani one, this one can fall pretty quickly. So by mixing these two, again, we're just gonna have a longer wearing full face of makeup instead of being like, where did my bronzer go? And then she like left the party like an hour ago, left your ass there, and now you gotta find a way home. Like what, ma'am? Rude. And we are gonna go ham with this bronzer. We are gonna spend our time, we are gonna blend, we are gonna pack it on, load it on, do whatever, because I want to look so bronzy. That's my goal in the summers. I wanna look bronzy and glowy. Now we're gonna go in with Milani's Luminoso. This is such a throwback. And I know you guys are thinking like, Maria, Gloria, yo, where's your little cream bloodshots? I love cream blushes very much, but they're sometimes not the most bulletproof. At least I haven't known some to be. I'm trying to do a very long wearing face for you guys and Milani blushes wear forever and the baked blushes are my favorite especially because they give a certain iridescence to the skin which is again very glowy from within which is the glow we're overall trying to achieve we don't want a glow that's like sitting on our face we want a glow that looks like our skin is healthy we're hydrated we're minding our business but we're drinking our eight glasses of water a day we're being good girls we're keeping them electrolytes going that's what we want and I also really pack on the blush because blush is like the first thing that falls. But the cool thing about Milani blushes is again, they do wear a really long time. Blush on the nose, oof, sign me up. Especially for summer looks, I don't know why some people like beef with blush on the nose. Like they really do and I'm like, what? You don't put blush on your nose? Oh, so like you can't sit with us. <laughs> For highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and use my, my J.Cat Triple Crown Baked Eyeshadow in this, in this shade Dolce de Leche. 
This is technically an eyeshadow palette, but I always, always, always use this to highlight. This is seriously one of the best highlights in the game because it's so natural. Again, it's baked, so it's gonna look super natural on the skin, but it's also very bright. What'd I tell you? I can't believe we're almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lips now. You guys, I think glosses are really like my trick because I feel like I can reapply them throughout the day and they don't get gross. When it comes to lipstick and liquid lips, like that's just not something that I like really wanna even bother with because it's annoying. And like if I'm gonna be going out to a party where I'm gonna be drinking food and eating drinks, wait, yo. When I'm gonna be busy with my mouth, that also sounded weird. Okay, let's do over. If I'm gonna be going to a place where I'm going to be consistently like drinking, I'm gonna be eating my lip gloss and that's fine because I could just reapply lip gloss, that's cool. But like liquid lipsticks and lipsticks, they kinda get ugly. So you can apply the liquid lip, that's totally fine. I'm not gonna do that. My trick here is I always line my lips and then I just put a lip gloss over it so I can kinda have the definition that a lipstick would give you but the ease of a gloss. I'm gonna be using a mixture of my BH Cosmetics lip liner. This one is in the shade Straight. And then I'm just going to be topping it off with a Lip Tonics lip gloss from J Gatito. And then for mascara, we're going to be using our CoverGirl Exhibitionist Uncensored. honestly so good i let my hair down i kind of zhuzhed it up a bit and then just one more little thing <laughs> i swear this video is not sponsored by wet and wild but if wet and wild wants to sponsor me hi hello what's gooch fam i'm just spraying this on my body because i want my body to glow And that completes this entire look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, okay? Because I actually really, really, really enjoyed filming this little tutorial for you guys. And this is actually like a tutorial look. Again, I'm actually getting ready for my day. I have a day full of honestly not much. We got Disney Plus though, so that's like, yay.